Hi guys and welcome to my new woodworking video. In this video I will be making these wooden smartphone amplifiers which are both practical and also a nice home decoration. If you want to see and especially hear the result, make sure to stick to the end of this video. Here I am picking up some suitable material for the project from my small stock. As usual I will plane the material as fast as possible for you. Now I am using my table saw to cut the width of the material. And here you can already see the final squares I will be using for the amplifier box. The length of its side is about 16 cm. Now I'm marking the centers of the squares for the hole. Now before I will be making bigger holes in the squares, I want to drill a small hole with a small drill, so that later when I will be using bigger drills, it will be much easier for me to locate its center. Now let's attach this red beast for the biggest hole of the amplifier. I need to say that working with it was not quite comfortable, it was very difficult. In the end I managed to make the holes I needed, but I also managed to destroy the drill with it. So I think I will not be using it next time. Now wait for it. Okay, let's continue. For the smaller holes, I could finally use this adjustable circle cutter, which was much more efficient, much more comfortable to work with, and much safer. Then I figured that I could also make some simple jig so that, that the square would be always in the center, well at least one dimension would be at the center of the drill and also that I wouldn't need to flap it over every time and I could drill through it into the OSB board. Now I'm changing its settings to a smaller hole. And you can see it goes really faster. Also the jig made it easier. So now let's finish it, smaller hole and smaller, sorry for the earthquake here, smaller again and for the last hole I had to use another type of circular cutter. Now all the holes are cut which was a little bit struggle for me but the amplifiers are ready for the next step, which would be beveling the edges. Now I will use this 45 degrees beveled router bit with a ball bearing to bevel all the holes. The holes are not beveled all the way down, because there must be a space left uh, for the ball bearing. I think that thanks to this necessary edge for the ball bearing, the final look of the, the final design of the amplifier is much better. And 
and now all of the pieces must go through my hands all over again so I can sand all the beveled surfaces to make them nice and smooth and also I will knock down all the edges so they are not sharp but nicely rounded. Now it's starting to look much better, the edges are beveled and sanded and cleaned and we can go ahead and glue the layers together. After I lay on a layer of the glue on the wood and spread it out, I always add a few drops of kitchen salt so that uh, when the layers are pressed against each other at the end uh, they don't slide and they hold the position I clamp them in. The salt is uh, great for this purpose because it holds the pieces when gluing but after that it dissolves in the glue so that the crystals are not present anymore. Finally, all the amplifiers are glued together. Even though I tried to make the hole at the very center of each square, I was not always successful, so now I'm flushing the sides of the cubes on the table saw. These will be the holes for the screws for the backside. I decided to make the backside uh, removable. For example, when you would decide to buy a new smartphone, a different type or different size, then you can just remove the backside of the amplifier and adjust the hole for the phone or make a new backside. So that you can always use this amplifier with uh, and other phones you might buy in the future and you don't have to recreate the whole amplifier itself. Now I will use a router with a ball bearing guided round router bit to round all the outer edges of the cube. So now I removed the back side of the amplifier and measured uh, the dimensions of the phones I wanted it for. The phone would be located in the top center part and immersed in the cube just enough so that you can comfortably operate it.
Now I am locating a position of the phone speaker. Now I'm outlining a tunnel connecting the phone bottom speaker with the hole of the amplifier. I'm going to use a router to make the space for the phone and also for the tunnel. Now I will clear it with the chisel. Then with the sander. And here I use the round chisel uh, to make the way for the sound into the hole of the amplifier as smooth as possible so that there are no sharp edges on its way out to your ear. Now I will attach the back side of the amplifier back to the cube and I will mask the screw heads with the wood filler, which can be easily removed if necessary. Now the final sanding, also after some repairments with the wood filler and before applying the oil finish. This part of the project is my favorite one when I can oil the final product and see the grain pop out. Okay, thank you very much guys for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I also hope that you liked the idea of this smartphone amplifier, which I must say is not mine. I already saw it somewhere on the internet before and I just adjusted the design of it according to my ideas. And maybe you will also make one of these for yourself. I hope I will see you in my next video. And now let's finally hear some music.